Morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Kyle's Daily Bad Words Wisdom. I have some facts for you, and I'm going to try really hard. I'm going to call this Take 13. Jesus, here we go. Adidas. No one should ever tell anybody that. But hey, we're pretty raw around here. Yes, this shit is raw, like these pair of Adidas. They're made with recycled material. Adid yeah, from beach. From the beach and the ocean floor. Go, Adidas. They're always on the curve of all that shit being hip. This guy was hip, man. Vice President Nielsen Rockefeller died at age 79 while having sex, supposedly, with his assistant. The New York Magazine claimed Nielsen thought he was coming, but he was going. Going, going, gone. Ah. Uh. So, 1970, that's kind of like the sex satire quote there. Not a scandal. This guy, I don't know who he is. He looked kind of familiar. I think his family's famous, probably, because he died. Brian Jackson was supposedly injected with HIV tainted blood when he was 11 years old. And his father, accidentally by his father, he developed AIDS by the age of five, and death seems certain, but today, at the age of 20, there is no sign of the virus detected in his blood, and he's been clear for the last five years. His body actually just kicked it out, you know? Like, it might have something to do with the fact that he probably got the blood on accident from his father, so the AIDS that he had was maybe, like, genetically in his family, kind of... He was able to kick it because his father's immune system might have been closer to his. So it kind of like worked it down. I don't know. I'm not a fucking don't know shit about nothing, but it sounds. Kicked it somehow anyway. Check this out. Oh, you, you got to check this one. I don't need to show you. But the limo queen. Limbo queen. Jamaica Charles has been training since she was a teenager six hours a day to set the world's record to be flexible enough to limbo underneath a car. And I take it she did. There was a restaurant in Pittsburgh called the Conflict Kitchen that only serves cuisine from countries that the U.S. is currently in conflict with. So, Polynesian takeout. It looks like they had some Arabian takeout. And they got some Afghanian takeout. And then there's like, the big sign says the Coco Cabana. That's like Cuba. Cuba takeout. Oh, uh, yeah, it even says it right there. It's really funny. We got, we got a station. So they just change the, basically the front of the outside of the building. And then start changing the cuisine. To sh these foreign nations. Anyway. Kind of funny there. <laughs> Here we go, page two. We are halfway through, peoples. A skeleton only 68 inches long was discovered outside of a Chilean ghost town. It was determined to be human and, for its size, did appear to be eight years old. The only defining explanation for its size is some type of mutation. The origin has never been found. It does look like one of those X-File Roswell-looking creepy ghost time skeletons, too. It looks like a freaking alien head. Because it's got a huge skeleton. Elongated forehead. It's kind of scary looking. Doesn't say anything about being extraterrestrially interesting, but... The beaches of Normandy. Where D-Day landing happened... Today, if you look at the sand, it is 4% metal metallic particles from that day. We affected the beach that much. There was that much carnage blowing up, scrapnel flying, shit, fucking, there's 4% metal on the beach now. This is awesome. The giant tarantula, which is horrifyingly disgusting, likes to keep... 
a frog around as a pet. So if, and you see the tarantula here, I just keep on showing you these pictures. Tarantula, very tiny insects that the frog would eat off of. These tiny insects would eat the tarantula's eggs. So the spider would keep the frog around to, to protect it. And it would even protect the frog from other predators. They'd really be friends. And here's another animal friendship. This is awesome. Coca. Coca, the female gorilla, was trained to do sign language. Right? And she's got a little cat there. Coca once ripped a whole sink out of her enclosure where she was um, in the, you know, her thing, habitat. She pointed at the cat innocently and said that the cat did it and signed it. Coca no always the kitties. Totally blamed it on the cat. There you go, people. Hopefully this one works. Watch me erase on an accident right now. Erase. Good bleep. I did it.